Okay. Um, so, uh, hello everyone. Today I will be presenting our work on learning to rewrite prompts for personalized text generation. This work is a collaboration between Google Research and the University of Michigan. Personalized text generation aims to help a user write a personalized document, which should be relevant to the user's personal context and the current topic. It has wide applications like email writing, review writing, and social media post writing. In a typical scenario of personalized text generation, a large language model or an LLM is used to generate personalized content. The LLM is frozen so that it cannot be fine tuned and can only be accessed through APIs. The only way to improve the generation performance is to improve the import text or the text prompts. This is usually done manually. We aim to develop an automatic prompt rewriter for personalized text generation. The input of the rewriter is the initial prompt gener generated by a state-of-the-art personalized gen generation model. These models are fine-tuned, therefore their prompts might not be optimal for a general frozen LLM. The output of the rewriter is a rewritten prompt. There is a prior research on IO-based prompt optimization. They aim to improve the instruction component of the prompt. For example, the instruction can be classified as sentiment of the following text. The instruction is shared for all prompts belonging to the same task and is independent of the task input or content of a prompt. The search space is also smaller since a limited vocabulary is needed to describe a general task. We aim to optimize the input or context the dependent component of the prompt. Specifically, the summary and the sentences of the given user's personal context. They are not shared across other users or contexts, and the search space is uh, much larger. The large search space makes our algorithms less efficient. To address this challenge, we propose an SLI or training paradigm. We first apply supervised learning. It reduces the search space file. It also helps, helps the rewriter adapt to the prompt rewrite task. We then further fine tune the model by IO, and will further improve the rewriting by end-to-end -end training. Our initial prompt is based on the previous work, which is a state of the art on personalized generation. In the problem formulation, a user is writing a document, which is called the current document. The input contains the immediate context, which is the title and a short start of the current document, and the personal context, which is composed of documents authored by the user in the past. The objective of the task is to complete the current document. The generated document should be close to the real current document as if the user finishes writing. Their work presents a multi-stage framework. In the retrieval stage, the immediate context is used as a query to retrieve documents from personal context. This is followed by ranking, summarization, and the synthesis. The synthesis step tracks the key elements and the patterns in the personal context. Their prompt is composed of instruction, immediate context, summary, synthesis, and the rank entries. Their document generator is fine-tuned against the ground truth current document. You can find an example prompt on the left, where we have the instruction, the immediate context, past the document summary, keywords and the past document, documents. We consider a typical setting where the document generator is a frozen LLM, which can't be fine-tuned. We train the prompt rewriter to opt optimize the personalized generation. We only train two critical components, summary and synthesis. Components like instruction optimization has been explored before, and it is easier due to smaller search space. We now describe the overview of our procedure to rewrite the prompts. We first generate labels for supervised training of the prompt rewriter. We randomize the given original prompt and produce a set of prompt variants. We feed each variant to the document generator, a frozen LLM, to collect the generated document. We measure the generation performance against the ground truth current document using metrics like blue. We refer to the prompt obtaining the highest metric score as the best prompt. In figure B, 
we train the prompt rewrite by feeding a prompt variant as input and using the base prompt as the label. In figure C, we continue to train the prompt rewrite by reinforcement learning. The, the reward is obtained by computing the generation performance using metrics like blue. Um, supervised learning aims to adapt the sequence to sequence model to prompt rewriting. It reduces the search space of IO. The challenge of a supervised learning is the lack of ground truth labels, which are optimal prompts that lead to the best generation performance. We address this by shuffling and randomly removing elements from the summary and the synthesis. After randomization, there will be one variant that has the best performance then we will use it as a label. We show an example of label generation for supervised learning here. Uh, we have the original prompt on the left side. In the middle, we show a generator prompt variant obtained by randomizing keywords, writing style, and the summary. We obtain a label for SL or supervised learning from the best prompt variant. In the label, we also remove the unchanged components like instruction so that it will be easier to learn. Using best prompts as labels for SL is not optimal. It's impossible to enumerate all possible prompt variations. Additionally, using LLM inference to find the best prompt is extensive. Furthermore, um, prompt variations do not introduce new elements such as new adding new keywords. So we apply reinforcement learning to further fine tune the prompt rewriter. The reward is a LLM doc document generator performance against the ground truth current documents. The acting space is all tokens in the vocabulary of the prompt rewriter. In this way, we can remove, reorder, and add new words. The state is the hidden states of re the rewriter encoder and the generated tokens so far. We use um, PPO as our algorithm, which is like the offer the share of algorithm. Uh, following the previous work, we use three datasets for experiments, which can include the emails, Amazon reviews, and the Reddit comments. The train validation test sets are partitioned by users. So in the test sets, we, we will only um, encounter those users that are, not, that are not seen in the training set. You can find the data statics in the table. We use T511B as our prompt rewriter, and then we will explore different model sizes later. The PUM2 model is used as the document generator. The number of prompt variants is set to 65. We will also explore using less prompt variants, variants later. Uh, we first show the overall performance. Supervised learning performs similarly as the original prompts. This is because multiple prompts can have a similar performance as the best prompt. This means that some elements in the best prompt do not matter. So therefore, it's hard for a rewriter SL to learn general patterns. It most often simply copies the original prompt. Rewrite IL performs poorly. This is because the acting space is too large if we do IL only. Rewriter SL IL greatly outperforms the original prompts. This is because it's trained end to end and it explores the search space guided by supervised learning. Here we show a case study on why rewriter SLIL prompt is better. In the example, we see that the entire summary is less relevant and is removed. The summary contains noisy information and can destruct a frozen LLM. Some less relevant keywords are removed. Um, keywords are reordered based on their possible order of appearance in the generated text. This would be easier for the LLM to consume it. Um, some non-relevant writing style phrases are also removed. Um, in the example, we also see that the rewriter IL prompt is not human readable. This again shows that applying supervised learning first is very important. Uh, you can find the generated document in the table. As you can see, the document generated by rewriter SLIL uh, uh, actually overlaps more with the ground truth document. 
Um, we, ha we have another case study that shows the rewriter SLIL as new words that are relevant to the immediate context and repeats highly relevant keywords. Uh, again, the document generated by rewriter SLIL overlaps more with the ground truth document. Uh, we also experiment with reducing the number of prompt variants from 65 to 4 for label generation of supervised learning. We say that the performance difference is not significant. This means that the labels for SL do not need to be perfect. Adapting the model to the re rewriting task is sufficient. We also experiment with different rewriter model sizes. We say that all these models bring in considerable benefits that reducing the rewrite size leads to a performance degradation. So in conclusion, we examine a typical situation where the LLM document generator is only accessed through APIs. In this case, we, only, we can only rewrite, revise the text prompts to improve the personalized te uh, text generation. We develop a prompt rewriter by combining supervised learning and reinforcement learning. We evaluate the rewrite on three representative uh, data sets. The experiments show that it outperforms original prompts, um, supervised learning prompts, and uh, IL only prompts. In depth analysis show that the learned prompts are human readable. It can also uh, provide actionable rules that can guide manual prompt improvement. This is useful when we deploy or oh, uh, when it's uh, ev ev very expensive to deploy IO or automatic prompt rewriter. Yeah, thank you for your attention and uh, I'd like to take any questions.